My name is Tsubasa Tomoto. I'm a postdoc research fellow at the Institute of Exercise and Environmental Medicine. And I am a leading author of our publication on Journal of Applied Physiology entitled One Year Aerobic Exercise Alter Cerebral Vasomotor Reactivity in Mild Cognitive Impairment. Mild Cognitive Impairment MCI is the stage between the expected cognitive decline of normal aging and the more serious decline of dementia, including Alzheimer's disease. Cerebral vascular dysfunction is one of the potential underlining mechanisms of cognitive decline. Cerebral blood vessel is sensitive to change in arterial partial pressure of carbon dioxide. Elevated CO2, which is hypercapnia, increases the cerebral blood flow through vasodilation. On the other hand, reduced CO2, which is hypocampnia, decreases cerebral blood flow through vasoconstriction. These responses are referred to as cerebral vasomotor reactivity, CVMR. Alternation of CVMR has been observed in patients with Alzheimer's disease and MCI. Recently, several studies suggest that aerobic exercise training may improve CVMR in healthy adults. However, the effects of exercise on CVMR in patients with MCI are unknown. Therefore, the purpose of this study was to determine the effects of a one-year aerobic exercise training on CVMR, as well as the relationships to cognitive performance in patients with MCI. The participants in the aerobic exercise training group underwent this moderate to vigorous intensity aerobic exercise program for one year. CVMR was assessed with recording cerebral blood flow velocity using a transcranial Doppler, mean arterial pressure using a phenopress, and endentile CO2 using capnography. A noscope was placed and subjects breathe through a mouthpiece with a Y valve with one end connected to the mouthpiece and the other two ends open to room air and connected to a five liter rebreathing bag. To assess hypocapnic CVMR, cerebral vasoconstriction, participants were instructed to breathe in and out every second to induce hyperventilation for 20 seconds in order to decrease blood pressure and blood flow velocity. To assess hypercapnic CVMR, cerebral vasodilation, subjects breathe into a rebreathing bag for three minutes while supplying oxygen. During rebreathing, endentile CO2, cerebral blood flow velocity, and blood pressure were gradually increased. These slopes were used as estimates of CVMR. After the one-year intervention in the aerobic exercise training group, hypocampnic ZVMR was increased and hypercampnic ZVMR was decreased. The increase in aerobic fitness was associated with the decrease of hypercampnic CVMR in the aerobic exercise training group. Furthermore, the changes in hypercapnic CVMR was associated with the changes in cognitive performance scores, such as letter and category fluent scores, only in the aerobic exercise training group. These findings provide evidence that aerobic exercise training has an impact on cerebral vascular function in patients with MCI, which may contribute to improvements in cognition. At present, there is no effective treatment to slow down age-related cognitive decline or prevent Alzheimer's disease. Cerebral vascular dysfunction is an emerging risk factor of cognitive decline. Therefore, aerobic exercise training may improve cerebral vascular function and slow down cognitive decline.